Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be going over attributes and Roblox Studio. Let's get right into it. So what are attributes? You may have seen attributes in an object. So if I insert a part and we go down to the properties, at the very bottom there's a thing called attributes. You may have seen that. But what attributes are is it's in the most basic um, description ever a custom property because you know you have all of these properties the color cash out and all that attributes allow you to assign a data type to an object like it's a property because you know brick color you are assigning a color three to the object cash out you are assigning a true or false value to the object you can assign a data type your own custom data type uh, an attribute to whichever object you like attributes you know they you can customize them in studio but you can also customize and set everything in scripting so if i were to again select this part and go to attributes and make a new attribute um there's like all of these data types that you can set right as i said you can set data types your own custom data types properties to objects there's all of these Say I wanted to make a a boolean. All right. Um, let's okay. So let's just set it as a boolean. Um, and name is can can touch. Okay. We're gonna make a new true or false value called can touch. And if I press save, we will see in our attributes we will have a new attribute called can touch, like we set. And it is a boolean, a true or false value. So, what are some use cases for using attributes? Um, something like a weapon, like a gun. You can customize that gun with attributes using custom properties. As we look here, it says examples of attribute usage. Weapons with attributes such as damage, fire rate, shot sound, and all that. You can make your own attributes instead of having values. So here, like a gun, you can set the damage, fire rate, reload time, all that super, super easily using attributes. And you can get these in scripts super, super easily, which I will be getting into. But these, this is a super optimized way to have certain values for certain weapons, um, vehicles down here, like acceleration, um, sound, speed, colors. Again, a really organized and optimized way of um, having custom properties and additional stuff like in the packages and um, whatever is going on down here. So it, it, attributes can be super helpful. So uh, on to that, guys. In the part, and when you go down to the attribute, if you click on the setting or cog on the right of the attribute, you can rename or delete it. So if I press rename, I can rename it, say, can... You know, can, I don't even know. I'm just going to say collide again. Um, but you can rename it, um, your attribute, as well. When you click on it, the other option is delete. So you can delete an attribute uh, directly from that window. So I'm going to have another example for you guys. I have this part, the same part with the click detector. I made a click detector. And I'm going to be creating currency in my game. And I created an attribute in the part uh, called money that is set to 10. If you don't know where this is going, I wanted to make it so um, you're, when you click on a part, it will give you the amount of money that is set in the part attributes called money. So I have that equal to 10. So my goal here is whenever you click on this part, you will get 10 cash every time you click on it. So this is where we can transition into the scripting part of it. Um, I can just say game .workspace .base, um part for now. Oh, game workspace part. Click detector. Uh, mouse click. This is just an example. Uh, what am I doing? Function player. All right. Now I can set the player's leader stat value of the cash value, and I can get the. I'm just gonna get the part. So it's easier. So local part is equal to game dot workspace dot part and put this back here. So I can say part. Now to get an attribute, you would say colon 
get attribute and then when you call this on an object you put in a string um, so the name oops, the name of the attribute which is money right it, I am it automatically filled it in for me um, but we're getting the money I should actually um, set this equal to um, player dot leader stats cash dot value plus um, the attributes value just like that head into the game I have my cash value up there it's set to zero when I click on the part it gives me 10 cash every time I click on it this is easily changeable if you just go to the part or you can store the attribute wherever you want but if you go to the part and you can set it and say a thousand every time we click on it again click on it you get a thousand every time we click on it so another thing you can do with attributes and coding guys is you can create your attribute an attribute in your scripts by saying set attribute the same way set attribute you use set attribute to set the attributes value so if there's not an attribute in that part then it's, it's just going to set it um, create a new one or it will set the value of an existing one so in our part I actually already deleted it but I'm just going to make it back set it back so money number save okay so we have our money thing we're going to set that to 10 uh, or wait I, I'm supposed to okay so set attribute if we want to make a new attribute we can say say diamonds and we can set the value to 5 because diamonds are rarer than you know regular cash if you go into the game and go into the part we have now two attributes one money that we have already set before we played the game and diamonds which again you can create attributes using set attribute and also change uh, attributes so if I set this back to money and I can then set that to another number that is already existing so money the attribute that's in this green part will be set to 500 just like that so set attribute creates a new attribute if there's not already that there or it also sets a value set attribute is also used for removing an attribute if I were to set this value to nil and I play the game and I go in the part we will see the attribute is no longer there so set attribute can have three different functionalities onto it it can create a new attribute um, if there's not one already there it can also change uh, an attribute buttes value and the third thing is it can remove whoops remove an attribute so set attribute can do lots of different things like those three things and set attribute is a primary uh, thing that you'll use with attributes in the scripting now you don't just have to you know just say set attribute you can also put attributes in variables because this is where part get attribute comes from you don't always have to repeat it you can have this equal to something so local part attribute can be equal to the object's attribute now get attribute returns the value from the attribute that we put in here okay so in part still have my money attribute and I can get the attribute money just like that without always having to say part get attribute money so from that we can extend off of from what we already know we can say part set attribute um, hold on let, let, let me figure this out okay guys so if you 
print the the getting the attribute it returns the value that the attribute is uh said to so you don't have to say always part get attribute you can put that you can get it in a variable and then also do other stuff in your code with it all right now there's also functional things to do with attributes if here i, I still need my part but if i say part there is something called get attribute changed signal this runs when an attributes value changes so in here we toss in our attribute name which again is money for this part and we connect this to a function all right so we are detecting when attribute is changed and it runs so i'm going to set it but after three seconds i'm going to say part get attribute um money and we're going to set this equal to 50. Uh, oh, hold on, guys. I'm, like, not following. I'm so used to regular values, but it's set attribute, money, and then 50. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, so we're changing it, and then it would say attribute changed after three seconds. So output, play the game. And after three seconds, it says attribute changed because money is changed to 50. So doing this, I get attribute chain signal. This fires when a certain uh, attribute has changed. There's another thing whoops, called attribute changed. So part dot attribute changed connect function. It's another function. And this returns us the attribute that was changed. OK. So the last one um, fires when a certain attribute is changed. This listens to any attribute in the part if any of those were changed. So kind of same thing here with changing the money to 50. And it would print um, the new value. Um, or it, it prints the attribute that was changed. So it prints money because money was the attribute that was changed. So just extra things before I end the video, maybe extra knowledge you guys want to know. Um, there is no limit to uh, the number of attributes that you can use in your game. Um, but there is a limit for a number or to the number that can be saved per instance, which that is a really big number. Don't ha You guys don't have to worry about that. Um, attributes, if they are created on the client, do not replicate on the server. So if you were to create a new attribute to an object on the client, it would not um, uh, be replicated to the server. So because attributes respect to the filtering stuff. So um, beware of that if you are making new attributes when coding. Uh, yeah, keep that in mind. And yeah, guys, that was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.